just gotta be careful to not like disrespect the culture. Cause Lil Gang Japan is all about the respect. Do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. Yes. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan originally, but... Oh. It sounds like you're just gonna blow someone up. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. You want some fish? Okay. <laughs> Does anybody want a squid leg? Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you gotta see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I don't, oh, maybe that's what I said. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I, I'm so sorry about this, Logan. This was supposed to be fun vlog. Um, we were gonna address this before we saw this. We were. I'm not just saying this, but I was gonna um, set up the camp and everything. Obviously, um, and now experiencing it real life and firsthand, suicide. It's not a joke. I don't feel very good. Yeah, I don't feel good. Either. What, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? No. <laughs> what the f is going on? I don't know, dude. I don't <laughs> Why? Because Low Gang Japan is all about the respect. In the age of the internet, no two sets of fans represent a cult-like following more than the fanatical followers of Logan and Jake Paul and President Donald Trump. There is no more obvious sign that a group of people are willing to forgive, forget or ignore all the negative qualities that make these people unworthy of their positions of power and fame. Just before I get into the meat of the video, I must make an obvious distinction between the Paul brothers and Trump. Donald Trump is inherently worse. He is the most powerful man in the world who all his life has scammed people and hurt the working class. He is an obvious racist who has embarked on a presidency set on discriminating against Muslims while locking up immigrant kids in camps where many have been abused by ICE guards and some have died. His policies directly kill people. He is unapologetic in his looting of the country and given his cronies the keys to the US economy. In my opinion, he is a wannabe fascist. The Pauls simply don't compare. However, there are some similarities between them, mainly regarding their narcissism and the way both have failed their way into success. This video will also focus on how they have maintained their fame through their fans, who often act as though they are in a cult, with these figures as their leaders. Bro, like, I just- Yo, are we beefing? I mean, we were, 100%. But like, I just want to do a nice gesture and bring you a car. It's, there's nothing, there's no tricks up my sleeve, bro. I got nothing besides big guns. Logan and Jake Paul were viners who became YouTube stars. Numerous comments and reports on Reddit claim the pair have always been bullying jock types. This isn't surprising when you watch their content. Their vlogs often feature pranks that rank from harmless to life-threatening, while other videos see them running around public places generally being assholes, They have also had several scandals that would usually ruin the career of a celebrity. Among the most notorious is the infamous Japanese suicide forest video. In this video, Logan Paul went into the infamous suicide forest, known as the Sea of Trees, seemingly looking to find a dead body. When he inevitably did find one, he began to laugh and find the whole thing exciting. Career ending for most, not for Logan Paul. On this trip, Logan Paul also decided to run around Japan, generally disrespecting the culture. He ran around in a stereotypical Japanese outfit while disrespecting local law enforcement and disrupting the public. He also ran around in a Pikachu outfit throwing a plushy Pokeball at people and left raw fish on a taxi cab. He constantly mocked the conservative and respectful nature often associated with the Japanese. All these pranks point to Logan Paul's Orientalist view of Japan. Orientalism was a book by Edward Said which studied the relationship between power and knowledge. Said used the examples of the stereotypes the British used to make widely known about countries like China, India and Egypt during the height of the British Empire. This would make the British public view the Orient, the name of what they collectively called these countries, in a certain way. In my opinion, there is an aura of white supremacy in Logan Logan Paul's video on him messing with the Japanese. In his stereotyping of their culture, it seems he thinks Japanese people are silly and odd. It is funny to mess with them because they aren't as normal as he is. And yes, I do know he dated Chloe Bennett who is an Asian, but 
I'm not racist, I have an Asian friend, isn't a good enough defense for me. This could of course also be related to the fact Paul is a massive narcissist who thinks he is better than everyone regardless of race. So these two examples of evidence I have provided are just a small amount of the messed up, potentially career-ending things Logan Paul has done. While there are of course more, I feel the suicide video in particular is the most notable thing to point out. Now, moving on to his younger brother and fellow collaborator Jake Paul. While he might not have had such an extreme example like the suicide forest, he has done a series of notable things that you would have thought would have at least hurt his career. In his YouTube group, known as Team 10, it was exposed by multiple former members that Jake would exploit them for money. He would get them to allay on false promises and treat them badly while taking a significant amount of their channel's revenue for himself. He was also accused of abusing these members, most notably the Martinez twins. Jake Paul has also been racist, and this included using racial slurs towards the Martinez twins. They claimed he called them beaners and constantly mocked their heritage. He was also film saying the n-word multiple times, although this is probably more seen as tasteless as he was attempting to rap. Finally, his worst offense was telling a fan from Kazakhstan that it sounds like you're just gonna blow someone up. Thank you so much. You're like, send the nuke. This again plays into the racist orientalist viewpoint the Pauls have on the world. Kazakhstan is 70% Muslim, which Jake Paul probably didn't know, but he probably thought the fan was Muslim because of Kazakhstan sounding like Afghanistan, a close by country which has been in American mainstream news for the last two decades. Jake assumes the fan is a Muslim, so he feels it's okay to make a joke about him being a suicide bomber. Because of Paul's reference to nuclear weapons, it becomes doubly insensitive. Because of Kazakhstan's history of nuclear weapons, as it contained many nuclear test sites for the Soviets, and radiation from this still affects the country today. Recently, Jake Paul has also been exposed as advertising a scam gambling website to his young audience. Seemingly, Paul was made to play the game in a video, but failed to disclose that the odds and the free in-game money he has been given are contributing to his success on the gambling side. Jake Paul also knowingly did this to an audience that has many kids and teenagers who are not allowed to gamble through legal means. So I have now outlined some of the things that the Pauls have done that could be considered career ending. Many other celebrities would have to back away from the public eye and many would have to take a long break before coming back. However, the Pauls didn't. Despite a minor break for Logan after the Suicide Forest video, the two are going as strong as ever. Both were in the top 10 highest earning YouTubers of 2018 and both have over 17 million subscribers on YouTube. Seemingly nothing can stop the Paul brothers' famous success, not even video recordings of racism and scams. They are propped up by millions of fanatical fans who do not care about any of the bad things these brothers do. Now as both Logan and Jake have acknowledged, many of their fans are children and teenagers. But this trait their fans exhibit of non-stop support for the Pauls, even in the face of Logan laughing at a dead body, or Jake being racist and trying to scam them, is worrying even at this age. Many will grow out of this and develop critical thinking for themselves, but for many this will be their first taste of the brain dead indoctrination into a cult of personality that they will carry with them throughout their lives. If we follow this to its logical conclusion, we can see the exact same type of ignorance and denial in the fanatical following of Donald Trump. Now before we get into this cult-like following of Donald Trump, we must make some points about why some people support him. White nationalism plays its role, as racist white nationalists see Trump as a champion of her worldview and goals. There is merit to this belief as Trump himself has described himself as a nationalist, constantly uses racist dog whistles, called African countries shitholes, and called Mexican immigrants rapists. Trump has also displayed his racism through his birtherism on former President Obama and pushing the Central Park Five conspiracy. He also appointed Stephen Bannon and Stephen Miller to his initial cabinet, men with well-known white nationalist beliefs. On top of the support of white nationalists, Trump also has the support of white evangelical Christians and also a large amount of support from other white Christian groups. They supported Trump over Democrats because of the cult-like mentality found in their religion. As long as Trump supports anti-abortion policies, then he is a Christian, despite most evidence pointing to him being in no way a real follower of any religion. In terms of him personally, Trump is pretty much human garbage. He cheated on his pregnant third wife with a porn star, he scams students out of their money through Trump University, and he never paid any tax on the $400 million he inherited from his dad. These are just a few things. In terms of his personality, he is a narcissistic, abusive, stupid, and generally offensive person. He is also obviously unfit for office and no better than a scam artist. Now, in terms of his policies once president, he has done numerous abhorrent things. He has constantly cut funding for Planned Parenthood and healthcare. He started a needless trade war with China that greatly hurt America's farmers. He allowed the military 
country to have less red tape in their actions in Syria and Iraq, resulting in far more civilian casualties. He has made it a matter of policy to separate migrant children from their families and place them in prison camps, where many have been abused and some have died. He has also tried to enact a Muslim ban to stop Muslims from multiple countries from coming to the US. He also gave billionaires a gigantic tax break, and he's destroying the American environment, mainly through defunding the EPA and filling it with fossil fuel lobbyists. Are most of Trump's supporters either white nationalists or white evangelicals? There is no doubt they make up a massive chunk of them, but there are also normal people. People who aren't fanatics but are general Republicans or independent voters. Trump's policies don't generally benefit them. If anything, Trump's policies hurt them, but they won't stop supporting him. On Reddit, a massively popular subreddit displays this cult mentality in full. It nearly has 700,000 subscribers and continually posts glowing things about the president. If you want to get a look at how a vast community of people live in an alternate reality, this is your best bet. Every slightly negative comment about Trump gets you a permanent ban. It is amazing to see one of the worst and most incompetent presidents of all time receive such a fanatical following. His supporters simply live in an alternate reality. Why do the Pauls and Trump inspire this cult following? Simple, they are both celebrities. The celebrity of both of them gained them an even bigger and fanatical following. People are obsessed with them mainly for their wealth and fame. To many they represent a lot of what people want to be. The awful things they say and do don't matter to many because they are so invested in them already. For the Pauls, the young fans think they are part of a community. They see Logan and Jake as friends and they are easily forgiven when they make a mistake. The same with Trump. Many people are invested in his promises of making America great again. While he has done the opposite and directly hurt his supporters, they cannot face reality. They cannot accept he isn't what they think. Of course, the link between fans of the Paul brothers and Trump supporters isn't concrete. I think Trump supporters in 2019 are either racist, religiously motivated, extremely ignorant, and a combination of all three. The young fans of the Paul brothers may not be at all like this and because of their age they may grow out of this type of groupthink. However, it is disturbing that internet celebrities like the Paul brothers can seemingly do anything they like and their fans will still support them, which of course helps foster the type of fanaticism that brought Trump to power and often keeps other Republicans from speaking out. They are new cult-like groups for the age of the internet. Logan, Japan is all about the respect. So what did you guys think of that video? If you liked it, leave a like, comment and let me know your thoughts. You can find me on Instagram at the Cavernacle, also on Twitter. My WordPress is a similar name. Subscribe if you're new and if you made it this far, thank you for watching.